All right, how many Beretta fans do we have out there? One, two, three, four, five. Boy, there's a bunch of you. Well, let me tell you something. This right here is the very first Beretta that I've ever owned. This is the Beretta APX. Um, when it first came out, it very much intrigued me. Um, Berettas, you know, being in the military for over 20 years and, you know, firing the M9 and qualifying and all that kind of stuff, I kind of got a taste in my mouth for the Beretta M9 like it's a work gun. And I just don't really care to have a work gun. And I know I shouldn't be that way, but I can't help but feeling that way. I'm thinking one of these days I'll probably pick one up, but it's going to probably have to be used and at a pretty good price. I have no problem with Beretta. I've never owned a Beretta, so I have nothing bad to say about a Beretta. It's just when I hear Beretta, I think a work gun. And uh, I don't know. It's just never really done nothing for me. But then this APX came out, and I was like, ah, eh, you know, that's a little different. You know, it went through the military time trials, you know, trying to be the next big hand side sidearm for the military. Uh, price point is, is good on them. I mean, right around the price point of a Glock or an MMP or, you know, your typical polymer 9mm handguns. And, uh, well, I came across one of these in my local gun shop and, and I picked it up. I have not fired this. I know the story of your life, right? But uh, you can go look at other videos of people shooting these things and they're performing very, very well. This right here is going to be a gee whiz nerd video, kind of let you look at it up close, give you a little bit of information about it, and that's about it. So, without further ado, like I said, this is the Beretta APX. This does not have a magazine in it. Firearm is clear. I'm going to tell you one thing. This thing feels really, really good in the hand. It's got some light finger groove bumps right here. Okay, they don't really stick out all that far, but in my hand, my fingers fit right in there just fine. It feels good the way this comes way up in here. Kind of gives you a nice high hold up in here. This does come with, uh, you can change the back straps on it. This is the strap that came on it whenever I picked it up. I haven't changed it. Probably won't change it. It feels really good just the way it sits right now. This is a 17 round capacity. 9 millimeter. Okay, it comes with a steel magazine. Um, I don't know who makes it. Probably Metgar. Might be a guess, but I don't know if it's... I don't know. Some magazines will say, you know, like Metgar or Made in the USA or whatever. Looks like there might be some writing right there, but boy, that stuff's tiny. Let me see. Made in Italy. So, Italian made mags. I think Metgar is Italian. Probably made by Metgar. You know, we all know the Beretta. Home base is out of, out of Italy. Uh, do you all know that Beretta is the oldest firearm company in the country? They go back to like the 17 or 16 or 1500s or something. It's crazy. You can look it up. Um, these right here. You know, on most on most handguns, they call these. Uh, I'm stalling because I can't remember what the freak they call these serrations. These look kind of goofy, but I'll tell you what, they work. They work very very well. Front, rear, very grippy. Look kind of odd, but hey, yeah, big deal. This is ambidextrous as far as your slide release goes. It does not have an ambi magazine release other than you can probably switch it around. I don't know that you can. 
I would guess that you can, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm a right-handed shooter. I don't really get too much into the the left-hand stuff and what have you. But uh, anyway, take down on this. People say, you know, I haven't actually even taken this down. People bitch about it. They say that right there. You got to push that in and turn and all this other stuff, you know. I'll try that for the first time right here. Let me see. This might be a mistake. Push. I think, they, I think you push. Do you push and the thing pops all the way out? Okay. Right there with a the thumb with a good press. It pushed out. You can see how that pushed out right here. Okay, so it's kind of protruding out now. Now, going off memory, I don't remember. Do I pull this out or do I rotate it? Let's see. Okay, I rotated it and it didn't do anything. Actually, yeah, I went back in. Push like that. Maybe you gotta hold it and rotate it. There you go. Well, I don't know. I don't... Surely you don't have to take that all the way out. Boom. Pull the trigger. Slide comes off. Okay. First time I ever done that. Figured I needed to do it at some point. Just like about all of them anymore. Captured recoil spring. Barrel. Feed ramp feels really so. That's polished. That is definitely polished. That is slickered and you know what. Inside of here. It looks a little different than like a, a Glock or something. Yeah, it is a little different. But I'm sure in the end it's all pretty much the same thing. Let's see if I can get this thing back together now. That might be a whole different tour. Okay, put that in. And hold this down. And slide this on. All the way back. Boom. Now I kind of pushed that up to lock the slide back at the same time. Kind of just flip that around. Yep, it's all the way through. So that should be it. Let me tell you something. This trigger on this is very nice. It has, a, I really, really do like this trigger. It, a uh, little bit of take up right there. You hit a wall. Now I'm putting pressure on it and that trigger ain't moving. That moved a little. Boom. Broke. Reset. Right there. Whenever you're scoring up for the reset, it it's kind of like it hangs up. It's coming forward and it's like it stops, like it gets hung up on something a little bit and then it'll kind of spring and pop out. Probably work out itself. Like right there, it ain't moving. Oh, dummy. Let's do this. I didn't do it that time. No, oh, that, feels, that feels a lot better. I don't know, probably just me doing something dumb let's see uh, 17 plus one rounds this weighs sorry for the reach across 25.1 ounces without the mag I thought that sounded a little odd because when I weighed it before I just can't remember where it was 
28 even. 28 ounces even with an empty mag in it. Does have your standard 1913 style rail. Um, 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 that's really about it. You know, the, there isn't all these these pistols anymore are so much alike. I mean, in just general build. I mean, yeah, they got different grips and and what have you. I mean, this definitely feels better in hand than a Glock. Um, and I own plenty of Glocks, believe me. And I don't dislike Glocks, but let's face it. The way they feel in your hand, most people's hand, not great. This feels good in your hand. The trigger feels nice, really nice. Kind of odd looking here, but it's very functional. Take down. You know, a lot of people, I saw them on video, and they was trying to push this button in with their finger. They're like, you know, pushing. Well, with your finger, it is pretty tight. Now, over time, I think that'll free up, but you ain't got to do that. You can lock your slide to the rear, take your thumb, and just give that a good push, and it will pop out just that little bit. And then pull it down, pull your trigger, slide will come right off. Obviously, a lot of people don't like pulling the trigger, but, you know, before you even get started, you know there's nothing in the chamber, right? Okay. Nothing in the chamber pulling the trigger. It's not a big deal in my book. This does come with uh, two magazines. Some people were getting these with three. And I'm a little, little irritated that mine only came with two. They said some of them were coming with two, some of them were coming with three. Why do I always have trouble getting this to stand up whenever it's... You know, did you guys not see earlier that... Uh... Nah, anyway. But uh, the Beretta APX, man, I'm, I'm really digging it as far as its form and features. Uh, the feel of it, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a great little handgun. It's got, you know, your standard three dot sights there. Let's see, dovetailed front and rear. You know, and it, it, it feels really good. It feels really good in the hand, no doubt about it. Anyway, that's about all I can tell you about this booger, I believe. The magazines on this. Come out good. Okay. There's some handguns. I don't remember which ones they are, but some of them, the magazines don't like to, to come out real well, real easy. Kind of hang up and stuff, but this one seems to come out really, really nice. So anyway, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you later.